Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. Today, 20 at 2, we are going to be learning some of the signs for thoughts, emotions, and abstract ideas. Mario, welcome, welcome, Mario. Grace, it's great to see you today. We're going to be learning the signs today for um, thoughts, emotions, and abstract ideas. Hey, Emily Grace Tucker, Chris Boyd, so nice to see you guys. I love that you keep tuning in. You know, at this point, um, if you've been kind of following along, we've learned over a thousand words. Can you believe that? That's so many. Um, you are just really adding to your vocabulary. Um, it's, it's incredible how many words that we have just like packed in our head. I was talking to my mom, she follows along on YouTube and she was saying like, what do we do with this now? And I just encouraged her just to keep practicing. So in conversations, if you're watching the news or TV and you hear a word you know to sign it, or even if you're talking with someone to just incorporate a word that you may know. Um, today, we're gonna continue with um, some great words. These are like thoughts, emotions, and abstract ideas. But, uh, so if you're talking, not a physical but, um, but if you're talking about um, like an opposite idea, like we did this, but, um, and it just kind of shows that in contrast, um, although, however, so this is but, although, however, great sign to know. But I, I find that I use that a lot when I'm signing. I'll say like, I know this, but I don't know that or whatever. So that's a, a great one to know. Um, if uh, just kind of F hands going up and down, kind of like a scale, mm, if, if. I've also seen um, touching the eye, if. Um, I've seen both of those people do that. Although, anyway, no matter, anyhow, whatever, whatever, just very casual, whatever. Um, this was the sign for gray, uh, a little more structure to it. The color gray, my favorite color, my favorite color is gray, but whatever. You might like a different color. Maybe you have a different favorite color. Um, yep, 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 uh, whatever. Whatever. Hey, Pay. Hey, Gracies. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, compare, contrast. Compare, contrast. It's like you have two things that you're evaluating and looking at. Compare, to p compare or contrast. Connection, belong, relationship. So this could be connection. Yeah, we have a great. So you link, you connect, and then you move back and forth. So that's connection. You belong in relationship. We learned earlier that the sign for friend it's like this, that you're linking up and it's it's a mutual thing. So it's not one sided, it's both. So friends are in a relationship, you know, they have a connection. Cooperation is connection in a circle. So if you want to cooperate, it's like, yeah, everyone is working together, working together, connection, relationship, belong, cooperate, cooperation. Sometimes you have a difficulty in cooperation a difficulty or a problem. Problem, difficulty. Uh, we learn the sign for hard. This is the sign for like, that's difficult. Um, so that's kind of, problem is kind of like a grinding of difficulty. <sighs> promise, I promise. You're taking your word and you're sealing it. Yep, I promise, I promise. Yeah, this was kind of, um, <laughs> oh no, well, I'm glad that you're joining. I just saw that someone got an F in sign language. So hopefully uh, learning some vocabulary will help. Promise, promise. Um, this is similar to the sign for soda pop. Soda pop was putting the cork in a bottle and hitting it. Soda pop, pop, soda water, soda, anything that's kind of carbonated, soda pop, promise. I promise, soda pop. Tradition. We make the letter T. Tradition. This is what we do. It is tradition. Yesterday we learned signs for sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset. Now we're learning tradition. Soon we'll know all the words in fiddle or on the roof. We'll be experts at it. Experts. Experts, sharp, skillful, competent. Soon you will be very competent at sign language, at ASL, expert. Oh, he's an expert. I would love someone to say, oh, 
Dustin is an expert at something. Um, it, it kind of suggests like the edge of a sharp knife and it's being sharpened. So it's like if you're sharp or skillful, you're an expert at that. Responsible, responsibility. It's also the sign for burden or obligation. And that's kind of how I feel sometimes about responsibilities. While they're good things, they can seem heavy, a burden or obligation, but responsibility, responsible. Proof, evidence, or to prove something. Um, this was a sign for true. We learned that a couple sessions ago, true. So I feel like you're like saying that that's true when you're putting it in your hand. True, true. Um, according to the book, it's like right under the nose and comes down, but I've seen it kind of just kind of angled almost. It might be a little like lazy signing, but um, proof, evidence, prove that. Will you prove that? Prove that. True, false. True, false. Proof, evidence. You guys are doing great. Um, going on with some abstract ideas and thoughts, we have um, cheat, be betray, or fraud. Um, we kind of make the I love you hand um, and it covers. So this is cheat, betray, fraud, or deceive. Um, and that was similar to the sign for hypocrite, um, like almost like something covering the other so you can't see like two-sided, a fraud, a fake. But this is cheat, to cheat. It's like, oh, this one, this one is covering the other one. To cheat, betray, fraud, or deceive. Guilty. The letter G taps your chest a couple times. Guilty. He's guilty in his heart. He betrayed our connection. He betrayed our friendship. He's guilty. And I have proof. I have evidence. I have evidence and proof. <sighs> guilty. If something <laughs> now, now our friendship is worthless. 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 Blah. Worthless. It used to mean something worthless. Awkward, clumsy. Um, it's the, the three hand, one, two, three, one, two, three awkward or clumsy. And it's just kind of the feet walking. Um, <laughs> I've heard someone describe it as like a foot with three toes and how that would feel walking. So if something is awkward or bungly, clumsy, ooh, that's the sign for it. Um, awful, catastrophic, dreadful. It's like the mind can't comprehend it. It was just dreadful, catastrophic, dreadful, terrible, horrible, tragic. All words that start up here. Yeah, tragic, tragic. Um, yeah, awful. Show me the sign for worthless. Ugh. Worthless, worthless, worthless. Guilty. Yeah, to cheat, betray, fraud. Yep. Um, the sign for odd, peculiar, strange, or weird, it's just like a C, and it just goes in front of your face. So that's odd, peculiar, strange, weird. Something strange happens, something strange or peculiar. I think that strange person is guilty because they're a little awkward. It's awful. It's a terrible situation. It's just dreadful. Ugh. <laughs> Better, better. I kind of think of it as um, making your smile bigger. Oh, that, that would make me happier. Yep, thumbs up. Better, oh, that's better. Yep. Um, this is the sign for important. Um, um, so family is this way family comes this way. It's the F hand showing a group of people. Uh, this is a sign for like class, group, um, like a large organization, corporate, a uh, sign for a group, family. And then the opposite direction is important. Merit, significant, worth, worthless. 
So you could sign, oh yeah, that's important. That's important to remember. That's important to know. That's important. Family is important. Family is important. Um, worthy too. So if something is worthy, worthy of love, worthy. Lucky, lucky. Middle finger on the chin, lucky. Ooh, lucky. Yeah. Um, if you had a dimple on your chin, you'd be a lucky person. Lucky. Perfect. To the P hands, dominant hand coming down stationary. So most people are right dominant hand, and so that's the hand that moves more. So um, perfect. 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 That's perfect. Special, ex um, exceptional. Um, you pick up the, the dominant hand picks up non-dominant hand. So it's outstanding. It's unique. You're picking, if there were, a, a, <laughs> there could be 199 people in the crowd and it only takes one person to pick you. Um, so special, exceptional, extraordinary, outstanding. Good, good, good. <laughs> lucky, lucky, perfect. Show me the sign for perfect. Great. And favorite middle finger to that chin. Having a dimple in my chin is my favorite. It's lucky, lucky, favorite. I remember this somehow just by saying favorite color, favorite color, my favorite color, favorite, favorite. So what's your favorite? What's your favorite? What's your favorite? Uh, show me the sign for odd or strange. Yeah, if you got it right, click the hearts, let them go up. Odd, strange, weird. That's weird, odd. Lonely, a lot of people right now are lonely in their quarantine. I think of it as kind of like the shh, they're quiet, they're lonely, and then just kind of like droopy. It's like, you have to be quiet and you're sad, you're lonely, lonely, lonesome. If someone loves you, they go like this. I love you. And I, I was taught that it's the letters, I love you. And you just put them all together at once. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I have proof, proof, evidence, proof, evidence. I'm not guilty. If I be guilty, may I be guilty of love. Love is just an embrace love. Heart, if you're talking about emotional, is two fingers making a heart. Yeah, heart. So um, I heart you. This is the heart emotional. Heart, um, just physical, is middle finger touching the heart. Heart. Heart emotional. If you hate something, bleh, it's the middle finger and you flick it away from you. Mm, get away from me. Oh, I hate that. I despise that. I detest that. I loathe that. I hate, 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 hate or love. Oh, I love that. I love that. Yeah. The sign for lonely. Lonely. Yes. The sign for hurt. It's your heart and it flicks away. So like, oh, that hurts. That hurts. It's almost like you're touching the burner of a stove. Oh, it hurts. It's too much. If you appreciate something, the heart kind of does a circle. It's like you're brewing some love in your heart. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Hurt. Show me the sign for hurt. Yes. Hate. Show me the sign for um, appreciate. Yeah. Mean, cruel, hurtful. Mean, cruel, hurtful. It's like that sign for difficult. Oh, that's difficult. Mean, cruel, hard. If something is difficult, it's also hard. Yeah. Kind, benevolent, gracious, gracious, gentle. You're just bringing, you want more of that in your life. So you're circling towards your heart. Um, I'm sorry, it's it's giving away. So you're giving those things. So if you're kind and benevolent and gracious, it comes from your heart and goes out. So if you want to be gentle or kind to others, benevolent, gracious, it comes from that heart. 
if you're hurt, it's hard to be generous and not generous, sorry, gentle and gracious and kind. But if you meet people who are generous, gracious and kind, it's nice to be appreciative of that. Patience, patient or bear, to bear with someone, to bear. Yeah, to bear, patient, I'm gonna be patient. Um, Sometimes when we're patient, it means we're silent about something that we don't say what we wanna say, we're patient, we hold our tongues. (laughs) Patient, lonely, patient, lonely. Similar to the color red, red, it's just kind of showing the lips, red, lonely, patient. If someone has a goal or ambition, it comes from the forehead and it touches higher than itself. So you have a goal or ambition, um, an objective, an aim, like, oh, I want that. That's, that's an idea that's bigger than me. So that's ambitious. I, I have a goal. I have a goal of kindness. I have a goal of gentleness. I have a goal of graciousness. Goal. I want to be guilty of love. Want. Covet or desire. You take your hands and you pull it towards you. I want that. I want that. Um, This is a sign that I find I use a lot too. Like, oh, I want that. Or I want kindness. I want... I want proof. I want (laughs) evidence. Want. Don't want. We just flip it. Don't want. Don't want. So you you have it in your hand. You don't want it. You want it. Don't want. Don't want. Show me the sign for better. If you've been watching, show me the sign for better. Yep. That smile goes up. Things are getting better and better. Uh, The sign for wish wish also can be um, the sign for hungry or desire. I wish. I'm hungry for that. (laughs) I wish. I wish. Prefer or rather. I, I would prefer. I'd rather do that. I'd rather do that. I'd prefer that. Prefer that. Yeah. Don't care. Don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Whatever. I don't care. Whatever. Embarrassed, shy, bashful. It's showing the face kind of getting red. This is embarrassed, shy, bashful. Um, red. <laughs> nervous, jittery, jumpy. We just kind of show the hands getting nervous. I'm, I'm nervous. Oh, I'm nervous. If I had to do public speaking, I'd be nervous. Brave. Um, starts at the chest and just makes a fist. Courageous, fearless. Yes, he's brave. Um, that's similar similar to the sign for um, robust, healthy. It seems like um, brave might be a little lower, um, but it's a similar similar concept. Brave, um, robust, healthy, brave, courageous, fearless. Like you're gonna fight, fearless. To cry. Sob, teardrops, tears. If you're weepy, <laughs> you just show the tears falling, and the degree of your sadness depends on your face. So, like, I shed a tear, or <laughs> it was so sad. Upset, upset. You just turn the hand, like your tum- stomach is turning back and forth. Oh, I'm so upset. I'm so upset. I'm crying. I'm so upset. When I get upset, I get bashful. But really, honestly, I don't care. I don't care. Whatever. Whatever. I don't care. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to show emotions. Shock. Bewildered. Dumbfounded. Shock. Bewildered. It's just showing the eyes getting big. (laughs) I'm shocked. I'm dumbfounded. Stunned. Um... Surprise, astonish, amaze. It's just one, the eyes going, what? What? That's amazing. Uh, I'm surprised. Surprise party. Surprise. Happy birthday. Astonish, astound, or um, shock, 
bewildered, dumbfounded. Yeah. What is this sign? Does it look familiar? It probably looks familiar. It's a sign for awful, dreadful, terrible, horrible. Ugh. Mm. Mm. Shock. Ah. Oh. Surprise. <gasps> Surprise. Amazing. Amazing. Surprise. Astonished. Astounded. Show me the sign for upset. Mm. Upset. My stomach is turning to cry. <laughs> We're just, uh, we're done for the day. We're just going to do a little review. Um, brave, fearless. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Good job, you guys. Embarrassed. Mm, I'm embarrassed. I'm shy. I don't care. I wish. Prefer or rather. Prefer or rather. Better. Want, covet, desire. Don't want. Ambition, goal, or objective. This was a thought that's higher than yours. Yeah, goal or ambition. Oh, so ambitious. Patient. If you're patient, you have to hold your tongue. We have to be patient. We have to be patient. Kind. It comes from the heart. Mm-hmm. Something is mean or hurtful or cruel. Mm, that's mean and hurtful, cruel. We don't appreciate that. Appreciate. Hurt. If someone hurt you, it's from the heart. You just can't take it. Hurt. I love you. Lonesome, lonesome, favorite, what's your favorite, favorite, if something is special, exceptional, extraordinary, it's the one you pick, it's the one you pick, if something is perfect, two peas coming together, oh that's perfect, that's, a, that's perfect, if something is lucky, you're lucky to have a dimple in your chin. Lucky. Um, worthy, important, important. Yeah, opposite of family. Family is important. That's how I remember it, important. Important, worthy, valuable, significant, better. Oh, we did that one already, better. Yep, your mood's going up. Yep, better. Um, awkward, clumsy. Mm-hmm. Worth worthless. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. Ugh. It's worthless. Worthless. Odd, weird, strange. I think the hiccups are so strange. <laughs> Odd, strange, peculiar, weird, guilty. Not guilty, guilty, not guilty. If someone is skilled or an expert, they're really sharp. Yeah, sharp like the edge of a knife. They're skillful, competent, they're an expert. Tradition, tradition. It's the way it is, tradition. Difficult or problem? He is a problem child. Problem child. Problem. I promise that if you practice, you'll get better at it. Promise. I promise you'll like soda pop. Promise soda pop. <laughs> promise soda pop. Soda water. Uh, cooperate. You join together and you work as a team, cooperate, connection or relationship, compare and contrast. Hmm, hmm, whatever. If, F hands, if, and 
but I don't want to. But, but, however, although, um, great job, you guys. We, uh, I was telling at the very beginning of class that we have learned over a thousand words up to this point. So that's a lot of vocabulary. Um, find a friend who's doing this and sign with them. If you know someone who's deaf or if you know someone who um, knows ASL, practice, practice with them. You'll be surprised at how many words you know. Um, so just keep practicing with each other, keep reviewing. It's great to know the vocabulary, but learning, uh, doing it back and forth really is, um, is great. If you're watching TV, just sign words as they come up and you'll be, again, surprised. You'll be astonished, amazed um, at what you know. Um, the lessons are on YouTube if you ever want to review anything. Thank you for joining me. Um, went a little over today because of the review, but um, thought it was important to practice. All right.